swelling of outright strength as he fights his way through the heart of a defense. Sims possesses so many natural running qualities that it's hard to pin down exactly what makes him great. All you can do is watch and enjoy. The virtuoso was another player named Sims. Detroit's Billy Sims, the NFL's top draft choice, continually left the vaunted Ram defense a few steps behind as he amassed 153 yards and three touchdowns in his pro debut. With the addition of Sims and the return of Gary Danielson as quarterback, the Lions offense may be the equal of any in the NFC. Detroit's 41 to 20 thrashing of the Rams just might be an early sign of things to come. Draw to Sims. Oh my! Well, his tailgate was flapping. His jersey in the breeze created by his own energy and Sims all the way to the 45. Billy Sims is unique. He's many different runners rolled into one extraordinary package. There's a feeling of power in his wide open style. A startling sense of speed and quickness in his lightning bolts into the secondary. Now for Thompson, Hill is in motion and on the pitch, Billy Sims. Billy Sims key to comeback that had the Lions ahead 24 to 23. Billy Sims bidding to become the first NFL rookie to rush for 100 yards in each of his first three games fell just short with 95. Sims clutch running was a deciding factor in Detroit's 20 to 7 victory. The Lions and Sims share one thing in common. The best is yet to come. On Thanksgiving Day in Detroit, the Lions anticipated a hearty feast, compliments of the last place Chicago Bears. Billy Sims, number 20, wasted no time supplying the first course as he turned a simple screen pass into a gourmet meal. The 47-yard score helped give the Lions a 17-3 third-quarter lead. Second and four at the 26, Hill in motion, and here's Billy Sims. Cecil Johnson as he knocked him back and gives the Lions another first down. And Dexter Busse threw a heck of a block too as the lead back down there. You can see the dump block there by, by Bollinger. Here comes 24 blocking on 34, Cedric Brown. And that was allowed Sims to get to the outside and down the horn before he's finally knocked out of bounds by Selman and a host of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here comes the block. You're going to see a block first by number 73, Keith Dorney. I, I should say Russ Bollinger. Then here comes David Hill, number 81, for his block. And here comes 24, Dexter Bussey on Cedric Brown for his block. So you saw three key blocks. NFC's rushing touchdown leader got in close. Sims met the end zone unchallenged. Second down and seven. Tipple. Sims on a delay. Look at the desire. He's all the way to the 12. Pipple, look out. Got his man. He's got the back Billy Sims on the linebacker. He's still not down. What a play by Billy Sims. In combining with Gary Danielson for a 38-yard score, number 20 Billy Sims picked up where he left off in 1980 when he was the NFL's Rookie of the Year. After displaying his patented end zone glide, Sims was forced to make a crash landing with 18 seconds left in the game.
Minnesota tried everything to contain him. But when number 20 found he couldn't go around the Vikings, he went over them. Detroit's theme song in 1980 is Another One Bites the Dust. And Minnesota ate plenty of the dust left by Sims. Back Billy Sims. Sims, with the help of pathfinders like Homer Elias, number 61, gained a career-high 185 yards on 28 carries. This 48-yard touchdown helped give Detroit a 21-20 third quarter lead. Half touchdowns for the surging Lions 24-13 victory. For being manhandled, Detroit's Billy Sims outran pursuit to the flag for the game's only touchdown. Sims' scores set off a fiery celebration. The only problem was the smoke made it pretty tough to see in section 318. Perhaps this was some unemployed auto worker's way of saying that the Oakland Raiders season is going up in smoke. In a duel between two of the best backs in football, Campbell bested high-stepping Billy Sims by two yards. ...of time trying to put a lasso on Detroit super rookie Billy Sims, number 20. But darned if that rope didn't keep breaking. The Detroit Lions are also rolling merrily along. In the Silver Dome, the heads of the Minnesota Vikings rolled too, thanks primarily to Billy Sims, number 20. Down 14 to three and having thrown four interceptions, Danielson sought out Billy Sims as the Lions wisely opted to attack San Francisco on the ground. Sims broke free for 56 yards and his journey set up one of three Eddie Murray first half field goals. Sims has got in more. He's off to the races. It's a foot race now. Lavender, he cuts back Sims against the grain. His first full game since he suffered a painful toe injury and rush for 159 yards. While the abundantly talented rookie gained over 100 yards for first three weeks, everyone is claiming first place for themselves, while no one has a winning record. All five teams have slumped to identical one and two starts, as each team has found a different way to snare defeat from the clutches of victory. Short pass here, there it is. The Sims giving him some running room, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's watch number 81, David Hill. As he comes out in front, you're going to see a block that he throws right there on the cornerback. Boom, he really knocked the heck out of Norris Thomas, and that was able Billy Sims to turn up the field and finally knock out of bounds. As you mentioned, uh, Logan came all the way over from his nose guard position, but good block by David Hill. Billy Sims elevated the Lions to dizzying heights early in the season. The Lion defense handed out a fair share of bell ringers for the day. And when number 20, Billy Sims, got near the goal line, he too knew how to chime in. The Lions relied primarily on Billy Sims, and number 20 did not disappoint. Sims ran for an NFC season high 185 yards and scored two touchdowns. But again, the outcome hinged on the closing seconds. Behind perfectly timed blocks and with some steps all his own, Sims danced for a total of 155 yards and two touchdowns. But for every trick up Detroit's sleeve, Kansas City countered. 
stop the clock with passes. Kipple dumps it off. Oh. It's, it's caught by Billy Sims off of Freddie Scott's hand. Wrapped up Detroit's second win in four games with this fourth quarter touchdown. The Lions rebounded at home. If only they could shake the heartbreak of the road. Right now, Hipple pitched back to Billy Sims. He explodes across the 40 and look at it. Sims for the 20. He's one to spring him down to the 12-yard line first. See West, a brand new one, solidified the Lions' place atop the NFC Central. Facing the San Francisco 49ers, Billy Sims was limited to only 37 yards rushing. But versatile, like all great runners, Sims found a different way to beat his opponent. Billy Sims consummating the holiday bash with a touchdown late in the fourth quarter. The Lions had won three straight behind Eric Hipple, earning a share of first place in the NFC Central. One big reason for the turnaround, number 20. In 1981, Sims broke his own Lions single-season rushing record with 1,437 yards despite missing two games. And then Sims and Detroit's front wall took over. Number 30, James Jones, teamed up with tight end Rob Rubick, number 84, and a downfield block by center Don Greco paved the way for the first of a pair of Billy Sims' fourth quarter touchdowns. Sims' 11-yarder narrowed the Niner lead and his second scoring run behind a crushing trap block by number 61, Homer Elias, gave Detroit the lead. With less than five minutes left, San Francisco found themselves down by six. And they give this in. He's got yardage. He may go all the way now. He's at the 35, the 40. And finally, Dwayne Woodruff brings him down at the 47-yard line. Not excited. Sims with a little shoulder fake, breaking over the left side. And all you need to do is give this man a little bit of room. Dorney getting a great block. Runs right out of one tackle by Woods there. And he's off to the races. The Lions began the season with just one win in their first five games. But by the time Billy Sims and his new five-year contract bolted into the end zone against Tampa Bay last Sunday, Detroit had become champions of the division. Chicago's victory over Green Bay made the outcome of this game academic. Billy Sims broke the ice with 15 seconds left in the half. On the very next series, Sims got another chance. He caught Hipple's perfect pass in stride as the turnaround continued. The 81-yard touchdown knotted the score at 24. Updating the story of the Detroit Lions in Denver. They're down by 10 points, and here comes Billy Sims behind. Bussy, Bussy takes out the first backer. Now watch a straight arm on the second one. Now here comes the cornerback, and Sims cuts on the inside. Two backers miss tackles. Now it's only a race to the goal line. 48 yards, touchdown, Sims. Back to Tim Ryan. Out here to the right, and Danielson drops back. Fires it over here, and it's caught at the 32 by Sims. And Sims is going to go in, and he does. Updating the story out in Denver, Billy Sims has scored his second touchdown of the day, 13 carries, 123 yards. Sims and the Lions lead the Broncos 14-10. Back to Tim Ryan in Chicago. 35 at the 25. Hipple. Billy Sims. And a first down for the Lions and a play action. And Hipple has Sims. Another first down, Detroit. And Sims is a workhorse this afternoon. From the nine-yard line, first and goal. Pitch back, Billy Sims. Look out. He explodes. A little draw play. Not much of a play until Sims breaks it outside. Goes right through Robin Cole on the tackle attempt there. Gets away from Dunn and up oh. in the air. Look at him. That's impressive. A 
Well, he's got 12 days to rest. There goes Sims again down to the 44-yard line, and that's just to make certain that he has his hundred. They beat a quality team thoroughly today. Monty Clark's Lions by 42 points. Third and one at the 37. Horace King is in action for the first time. And this is Billy Sims who has a first down to the 31-yard line, and Richard Hood wrote him down. But Billy Sims is having a Billy Sims kind of day. He is the third leading rusher in the National Football League with 1,361 yards. Anchored by the hotline of Dorney, Bollinger, Fowler, Elias, and Bolishweiler, Sims and his running mates led the NFL with 175 yards rushing per game and a near five yard per carry average. Billy Sims, an uncommonly skilled athlete with a rare gift, that of making his teammates better. Six to three Rams, first quarter. Lions ball, Billy Sims, 20. Watch him, remember the number, you know the name. Touchdown for Billy Sims, 10-6 Detroit. Then the Rams spun out to a 20 to 10 lead. Detroit's ball, fourth and one at the Rams one. Billy Sims again, another touchdown. 20 to 17 the Rams. And then in the fourth quarter, Billy Sims again, his third touchdown of the day. And Detroit leading 27-20 at the time, went out to a 34-20 lead. They racked up the Rams, 41 to 20, a stunning upset, what a day for Sims. A swelling of outright strength as he fights his way through the heart of a defense. Their fifth in 11 games. They would need a few more if they were to have any chance of winning a division title. Lions were four and six. The road was their nemesis. In Bloomington, Detroit's failure was forgetting that football was a two-way game. The Lions' game plan was simple. Attack the NFC's most vulnerable defense with big plays. With a runner like Billy Sims, it wasn't difficult. Sims rushed for 112 yards, and in just his second year, he tied the Lion record of six 100-yard games in a career. Sims possesses so many natural running qualities that it's hard to pin down exactly what makes him great. All you can do is watch and enjoy. 